analysis. guys and welcome to another episode of Analysis. Now over the weekend we had the heavyweight rematch between Zilli Zhang versus Joe Joyce. Now I watched this fight and I'll be honest with you I just thought what is Joe doing? In the first fight it went six rounds. Yes he was getting his head knocked back but he was at least trying to make an impact on Zhang. But Zhang was clearly the better man on that night. And Joyce got stopped by the referee. Now, following that fight, that made me believe that coming to this fight, as I said in my prediction, I said Zhang would win. But I didn't think there would be a knockout. But having said that, I know that Joyce had put on weight. What for, I don't know, but I know he'd put on weight. But what I didn't know, he was going to come to this fight as tentative as he was. He literally came in, yes, in the first round, he was moving to the left. He was trying to get his foot on the outside of Zhang's so that he could have that dominant position. Um fighting a southpaw. But that never materialised. What he did, he was pouring. Pouring. I don't even know if we can call it a jab. He was just pouring at Zhang. And he was slow. His feet were slow. His punches were arm punches. Zhang, he's strong, he's a big lad, but he, 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 from the second round, saw what happened in the first and thought to, thought to himself, I've got no respect for Joey Joyce. Because Joey Joyce, in that first round, did not impact and put himself on Zilli Zhang and gain that respect. Now, the end of the first round, I think he got himself in trouble, Joey Joyce. But he come back in, and in the second round, he was hurt badly a couple of times. More than he was ever hurt in the first fight. And he was nearly out. And in the third round, Joyce, Zilli Zhang had his number. I can't remember if it was left or right, but it was set up. And he just collapsed Joe Joyce a heap on the floor Joe Joyce just collapsed on that floor lying on top of his arm he got up I think it was around 9 it seemed like it was 9 but the fight was off it was off he was knocked out didn't think he would win easier than the first fight I thought it was going to be a tougher fight I thought Joe would take him into the later rounds and it would be a hard fight. But I thought Zhang would win on points. But fair play to Zhang. He came in. He knew what he had to do. He had that Chinese power, as he calls it. And he got the job done. Now, I've noticed since he's, he's got that job done, a lot of people are now going overboard. Um, let's put it in perspective. Yes, Zhang was good. But he fought Joyce, who was very slow, and who'd beaten in the first fight. He was slow. Now, I'm hearing people say, AJ won't go near him. Well, I know AJ, Eddie Hearn, is working on the Wilder fight. But at the time, Zhang was the name that was called out. And people laughed at it. And now, all of a sudden, AJ won't go near Zhang. Now, I know AJ's beat Zhang in the amateurs. He's also beat Joyce. But now, all of a sudden, 
because AJ is more of a cautious boxer. Everyone underestimates him, but let me tell you something now. AJ has only ever been beaten by Usyk twice. Yes, Ruiz beat him, he avenged that. Last night we seen the return of Conor Ben against Rodolfo Azurko. Now, Conor Ben normally fights at 147 pounds. In this fight, it was he came in, it was 154 pound limit. Now, this was a fight after an 18 month layoff, and we all know the history of what's happened leading up to that and during that layoff. But he came back. And this guy, Azurko, was tough. His chin was solid. Um, now, you could say that Conor Ben's moved up in weight, so he's not carrying the same kind of punch, but the punches that he's hitting this guy with, they were rocking him. I never heard of him, but he weren't, he weren't going down from him. Um, I do feel, feel that Connor should probably have invested in a few more body punches. Um, he did seem to be headhunting a lot, but it was a tough fight. And after an 18 month layoff, I think Connor gave a good account of himself. Connor Ben's a very tough person, and this Mexican was tough. Um, the fight was in Orlando. Um, it was a good fight, very, turned out to be a competitive fight. Um, and I think it was a good, tough test for Conor Ben coming back in after being inactive um, for that time, although we know he's probably been working out in the gym, sparring a lot, um, so he's been keeping himself sharp. But this fight will put him in good stead for the upcoming fight with Eubank. It gave him that feel, that experience of fighting the heavier man. Now, a fight that was a very good fight was... Jessica McCaskill v Sandy Ryan. Now, this was for an undisputed fight. McCaskill held three belts. Ryan held the one. Um, the fight was very good. I thought that McCaskill, uh, uh, she tended to duck her head low in the fight. And I also thought when she came in to attack, I didn't like her style of fighting. She was like one of them whack em, suck em robots. Um, just coming in with a body from left to right, left to right, throwing punches. But obviously those punches have been effective in the past. Now, Sandy Ryan showed a great variety of ring craft, ring IQ, and footwork, defensiveness and offensiveness and to be honest I thought she won that fight I thought she won that fight but on the judges scorecard um, I can't remember exactly what the scores were um, it was something like a 93, 97 96, 94 and a 95 and the fight was called a draw I thought Sandy Ryan took that fight, and I think so did a lot of others. They're fighting Orlando, and even the American crowd were booing. Um, so now it looks like they're going to have a rematch and run it back, because we need a more definitive answer. Even though Sandy Ryan won the fight, she didn't get it officially. Um, so let's see where we go from here. I look forward to that fight. Look forward to seeing Eubank come back in. Sorry, Eubank v Conor Ben, if that happens. And let's see what's next now for Zilly Zan. And where does Joe Joyce go from here? Guys, watch this space. I'll keep you posted. I'm out of here. If you like the video, Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like and share.